Good morning and a welcome to the Nomad Outdoor Adventures and Travel Show. Yes, indeed. My name is Rudy. And this morning I woke up to this beautiful, beautiful, calm lake right here. Oh my goodness, you generally can't get it any better than that. How would you like to wake up to something like this? A view like this where you get a perfect reflection of the water here from all the trees and everything. Let me get my uh, ugly face out of the way there so you guys can actually get a good view on what I'm talking about. Let me zoom in a little bit on the, on the whole reflection thing there. I don't know how good that's going to actually turn out, but uh, yeah, you guys can literally see the whole reflection of the, uh, of the trees and everything out here. Let me see if I can perhaps show you guys this area here as well. Look at that, what kind of beautiful, beautiful reflection you get up there in the water. And how would you like to live right over there? Look at that, guys. Man, oh man, somebody is lucky enough to live right there. But as you guys might be able to see, that sun is really, really orange today. And the reason being is because it is really, really smoky up in this area. Look at that, how orange that is. But yeah, let me zoom out of there. But yeah, absolutely, absolutely beautiful, beautiful, calm day out here. We're actually at just a little bit of a pullover area here. There's a sign right there that you guys can read if you guys really are interested in it. Let me zoom in on that a little bit and then go down so you guys can read it. If you guys are interested in knowing exactly where this location is located at. But yeah. I'm going to be uh, hitting the road here in just a minute, but I figured I would show you guys this a little bit. Let me see if I can show you how nice and clear this water is up here. Yeah, I think you guys are able to see that right over there. Like it's really, really nice and clear up here too. So absolutely fantastic morning. I love waking up to beautiful mornings like this. I just wish the smoke would disappear like you wouldn't see that orange sky anymore or that grayish sky. Otherwise, what I was really thinking about last night was if the smoke would have cleared, then I could possibly take some pictures of the stars like with the lake over here. That would have looked really, really, really nice. But unfortunately, we didn't get to that point. But I do see some bees starting to pop up on these little flowers over here. Let me see if I can quickly zoom in on them there a little bit. You see that? Yeah, they're crawling all over these flowers up here. Of course, these are just wild flowers, but yeah, they're all over these places up here. And, uh, and uh, right over there, there's some yellow flowers and stuff like that. And I remembered, I think it was last year, I pulled over into this pullover area right here as well there's another sign right there but yeah I pulled right over here and there's a bunch of these yellow flowers like you see right now I think there was more than there is this year but this is where I took some of the pictures of the bees and uh, different uh, different kind of species I see a nice little uh, dragonfly over there it's a little bit of a small one let me see if I can perhaps sneak up on them it's got like a little greenish on the front and then a little bit bluish on the back here let me see if i can perhaps get close enough to where i can really start zooming in on them i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get lucky enough i can't oh there he is now i can see him now you guys can start looking at him too you guys see that that is a nice shot of him <clears throat> shot of him right there i like that uh, combination of being green in the front and unfortunately i'm not able to hold still too well here right now let me see here there we go that is an amazing view right there look at that that's as close as i can zoom in on on him right there but 
sitting really really nice and still right there so that is awesome i love it there's a lot of grasshoppers out here too this year i don't know what's up with all of that but but yeah awesome nature isn't it i love it Ooh, there's some uh i want to say uh raspberries out here as well you guys see that really really nice and red they're ready to be eaten right there maybe uh, get a little further distance away and then we can maybe perhaps zoom in on them there we go really really nice oh yeah i know my dad would probably like those or even my wife yeah you even have a little bit of purple flowers up here as well of course these are all wild but you guys see that the grasshoppers hopping around everywhere i don't know if you guys captured that yet but they're hopping every time i'm oh look at that <laughs> he's gonna take his truck somewhere else oh there's a camper right there this would have been a nice spot to park at for the night let me go for a little bit of a walk and see if you guys can see the grasshoppers will hopping around but probably not oh there was one right there but anyways i think i am going to Ooh, i see a beaver over there let me see oh no that guy is coming in over here but let me see if i can uh, get a glimpse of that beaver i just saw him uh, dunking all under over there maybe in a in a couple of minutes he'll uh, he'll show his face again yeah let's see he was right over there so let's see i know they can only stay under for so long right and then they have to come up for air again so let's give it a minute and see if he will pop up somewhere that would be kind of cool to show you guys the beaver i kind of thought so that i heard him here last night but i wasn't 100 percent sure because i'm pretty sure i was standing on the edge here last night and i kind of thought i heard him over there oh i saw a bird flying over there didn't quite see what kind it is can't quite see it but i do see a bird over there Let's hope that beaver will come up again. I'm really, really hoping that they will, will pop up here in a minute. I don't know exactly how long they can hold their breath for, but I'm sure it is a little while. <laughs> They'll probably pop up out of somewhere where I don't expect them to pop up out of, probably. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I just love the beautiful, beautiful reflection out here. This would be a perfect day for flying my drone too, but I don't know if there's enough real interest out here. I did, I do think I flew in my drone here. Yeah, I did fly my drone here in the winter time. How many of you guys remember that? That I flew my drone over here in the winter time. I even flew over up to that house up there and uh, flew out that way. And then I flew behind me there. There are some more lakes behind me, but still don't see the beaver popping up yet. Huh. I guess he can hold his breath a little bit longer than I can. <laughs> That's usually how it goes, right? Let me turn this off for a second and then we'll see uh, if he pops his head up here in the next minute, then I'll be able to show you guys. All right, guys. Unfortunately, my truck broke down today. So uh, guess what? I got some bad news for you guys too. What is it? Well, holy mackerel. What do you guys think? Is this bad news for you guys or what? I think it is because it's going to be good news for me. Right, Jesse? Yeah, I think it's good news for you, Ro, right? I'm taking his yeah, you wanted Daddy to come over here with this camera and light, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. You want to say hi to Carla? next sunday is my birthday yeah next sunday is your birthday are we going to release this video next sunday and then it's going to be your birthday 20th birthday holy mackerel you're going to be 20 years old next year next weekend my goodness everybody's supposed to wish you a happy birthday huh yeah they're going to do it. I know they will. They love seeing you on the show. They hate seeing me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'll still show my ugly face. 
but we'll put you in it once in a while so that way we keep him on here, right? I think so. I think that's a good plan, right? Right, Jesse? Yeah, so me and the wife are sitting here in the backyard cooking up a real, real nice barbecue. Wife already made some uh, salad over there. Look at that. Uh-huh. enough for the two of us. That's plenty enough for the two of us. Heck yeah, we don't need to be eating that much anyways, right? What? Yeah, that's right. We don't need to be eating that much. It's super hot and humid this weekend. So what else would it be with a nice cold beer? Mmm. My goodness, that's some real good beer right there. But yeah, if you know, if you want to know what happened to my truck, why it broke down and what happened exactly, you got to be a member of my channel. You won't get to see it otherwise. But other than that, we're going to have us a good time here today, no matter what, and enjoy the nice summer. All right, Jesse, I see what you're doing over there with that hand. Oh yeah, sure, now you're going to be looking away. Uh-huh, I know how you are. See, you're slowly coming back. Oh, there you are. Uh-huh, oh, you're quickly looking away, right? Yeah. It is. Uh, what is the temperature? What is it? 31 degrees Celsius. Feels like 38. Oh my goodness, Jesus. Oh my goodness, yeah, it's hot. Let me, let me drink another one. Mmm. I know you guys wouldn't like it, but I don't care. I really don't. But anyhow, we're enjoying our evening. It uh, kind of happened last minute here that things uh, went sour for me, so. But I made it home with the truck, so here we are. Gonna have us a nice barbecue. I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time. Taking a look at these beautiful, beautiful yellow fields with these tiny, tiny little yellow flowers on them and stuff like that. To me, this is just absolutely gorgeous. But you know what's even more gorgeous? Just down there is a valley and uh, that way is a little bit of a valley too, as you guys can see. I went into this uh, ditch up here just to kind of give you guys a little closer look of everything. But if we get up here to this area, hopefully you guys can see what a beautiful, beautiful view up here it is. I'm going to go up there a little bit. I don't know if that truck is going to get going here in a second, but uh, yeah. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous view up here. And guess what I'm thinking? I'm kind of thinking about getting my drone up in the air and maybe uh, going for a little bit of a flight up there and seeing what it would look like from up in the air, right? I think this would look fantastic. What do you guys think? Give me a big fat thumbs up if you guys agree that it would look amazing from up in the air. I would love to do that and there is really no wind out here today so I thought why not I know it's a little bit of a distance to get all the way up there I don't know if I'll be able to uh, really do it with the drone get all the way into that valley you guys see now the truck took it took off now he's going down you guys can see there is still a tiny, tiny little bit of smoke up in the air, it looks like, but for the most part, it looks all right. So let's take a look at that. Oh, it looks like there's a farmer on the other side. Yeah, that's as far as I can zoom in, but yeah, there's even more, more of these fields up here on this side of the road as well. It's actually a brake check area here because it is such a steep valley up there that they, uh, actually want us to do a little bit of a brake shake before we go down the valley so but because it's such a calm day out here which is very very rare for Alberta and Saskatchewan border here 
well, we're not quite at the border yet, I don't think, but not too far from it, that uh, you got to take this opportunity when you can, right? So let's do it. Let's take it up in the air and let's go for a little flight and see what it looks like, see what we can come up with. Dark emotions ever torn so deep 